three surefire ways to release stress from your life. Step number one, recognize your stress. Because if you can't recognize your stress, how can you deal with it? So how do you recognize your stress? I have a, my mentor, he said, you don't notice until you notice that you don't notice. So start noticing. Start noticing, oh, it's too much going on. So if you're not at ease, like things are flowing and you're like feeling that sense of peace inside of you, so you are in the process of disease. <coughs> so choose to be ease. So how can you do that when life is just so busy and intense and, and you can't even think about what you're doing? And that's why, because when you're stressed, the first thing you do is single focus. You're like here, and everything is here. All these emails, all these people, all this stuff happening. So it's right here. So that takes me to share with you the second step, which is... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Well, when we are in stress, usually we are in reactive mode, okay? Reaction. <laughs> React to things. So we're going to learn how to be responsive instead of being reactive. Mm. So how can we become responsive instead of reacting? When we are reacting, we are like this, we're tense and we think somebody is attacking us. That brings us back to the dinosaur age where we used to, we have to be alert. Maybe it's the other tribe, enemy, is going to come and fight with us. Maybe it's this dinosaur is going to come and eat us. So we're always like this, they're going to do this to me. She's going to do that to me. Or, you know, you feel in that state. So the first thing is to get out of that state. So there's one thing that we learn too is that you can't stop something. You can't stop being stressed. You have to activate being in peace, which is totally different. So that's what brings me to say, to talk to you, share with you about being um, responsive. So how can you develop that sense of being responsive, right? Well, so if your physiolo physiology is doing this, because you're stressed. So opposite to this is what? Can you just do it with me? Can you just relax on the chair for a moment? Uncross your arms and legs. Feel your feet grounded on the floor. Yeah. And let's inhale together. Big breath. And as you're doing this, because when you're stressed, you're single focusing. So what we're going to do now is expand our vision. So can you just, as you're looking forward, have a sense of peripheral vision, have that sense that your personal space is expanded. Now your shoulders are relaxed. You feel yourself grounded on the floor. And now you can look as far as your eye can, eat, can reach. So very good to do outside if you have a garden view or even on the street, the street. Just look as far as your eyes can reach. That will create a very sense of expansion and will put you in a response mode. So when you are in response mode, you are able to speak without aggression. You are able to discern yes from no, and be more in touch with what brings you peace. The third step is move your body to steal your mind. So how are you going to move your body to steal your mind? How are you going to do that? If you're working, you have to sit down, you're in computers, you're in your office. So let me share you a story with a client that uh, called me recently, and he was very stressful. Um, also, uh, I have to share with you, when you are stressed, you go on reactive mode, and reactive mode always is going to put you into fight, flight, freeze, or collapse. So you're either doing one of those four things. So my client was like almost collapsing, and so much stress that was going on. So then I just had a sense that I had to put him into motion. He needs to get out of this. He needs to do something, walk, run. But then I just thought that I would ask him this question because he was so in this depressive mode. I said, when you were a kid, what did you used to do that really brought you like into bubbling state, into being cheerful? And instantaneously he remembered, I used to love to play kite. And that made me think, that's great, because when he's depressed and he's doing this, he's collapsing, he's looking down, he's not single focus vision, he's not expanded. So I say, okay, this is what I want you to do. I'd like you to get a kite and play kite for three days and then report back. 
So there he was, playing kite, looking up, <laughs> right? Now, now his posture is like this, he's got all this good uh, bubbling um, chemical from re releasing from his brain, and he's there playing kites. Well, it didn't take three days. It took about one day he called me back, and he said, I'm healed! <laughs> <laughs> I'm healed! Who's playing kite? Was I what I needed. So this is what I mean by move, uh, 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 move your body to steal your mind. That's what I mean by doing this. So whatever you have to do, if it's walk, run, dance, and by the way, uh, one of the things I like to do, and if you're in the office, this works very well. Let's say you're very stressed and you, there's nothing you can do. You can walk, you can, walk, you can uh, run, or you can exercise, and you're in this office place, right? So what are you going to do? Excuse me, I need to go to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom and you start shaking yourself. This is called reset. You know when you reset in the computer? Mm -hmm. So you reset your body to start over. So please, stand up. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's learn how to reset. Shake your hands. Jump. Shake your head. Loose. Resetting. <laughs> Resetting. <laughs> and stay there. You stay there. Oh. <laughs> Do it! In the bathroom! Shake! 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 Thank you so much, kid. So I hope I have inspired you, I have persuaded you, and I have encouraged you to move your body and to steer your mind. So you have now three steps to release the stress. First, recognize your stress. Second, distinguish between being responsive and being reactive. So uh, aim to be responsive always. And third, just move your body to steal your mind. Thank you.